live. We're live. Indeed we are. Okay. Hello. What are you doing? Where are you? There you are. Hello. Welcome to... The Destiny Hour with Paul. You know what's going on. I don't have to tell you about answering your questions. I'm getting hiss. Um, no more hiss. I was having a hiss with an H. Hiss. <laughs> a hiss with an H. <laughs> the problems that go on here, you won't believe. All this hissing with an H. It's not that kind of show. Or is it? Because people are, I must be honest, rubbing me the wrong way. And rubbing parts of me <laughs> the wrong way. And you don't know who you are. Could it be one person or multiple people? Could be. You just don't know. You just don't you. know. So I'm not going to tell you. But I know. <laughs> That's Shay in the corner. That's, That's Shay in, in the, the corner. Spot That's Shay in the spot lights. Do you want to come here? Not really. I'm not. I'm not dressed for this occasion. Wherever you are, over there or over there, welcome. Taking your questions on anything in this life, big, small. Love, career, money. What else? Decisions. Decisions. Guidance. Guidance. Have you chose the right person? Have you chosen the right path? All those things can be answered here. Live! <laughs> and more! On the Destiny Hour with Paul. I do this full time. So if you little marshmallows wanted an appointment with me, you pay, but you get all your questions answered and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully feel a wee bit better and more guided by the time we've cashed your check. Hello, Shay. Hello, Paul. What are you doing? Hello, we're waiting, hanging around. Oh, that's good. Wasting electricity. <laughs> Have you got questions? No, it is your show, but yes, we do have questions. I've got to walk all the way over to the bell. It's quite a distance. Yes, here I go. <laughs> I've got to stop doing that. That's really annoying. That sound really annoying me. I feel like the hunchback of Notre, Notre Dame. And why do you keep ringing the bloody bell? It's a job. <laughs> uh, let's stop talking nonsense. Let's talk about your nonsense. Let's go. Okay. Starting off with Instagram, FG says, Hi Paul and Shay. Trust that you're well and keeping safe. Will me and Paul get into a serious relationship, or is it just a fling? Paul is a very funny name. It's a strange name, that. I don't even know. Paul. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it properly. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> um.
it's it's not a relationship, thug. So let's just define that. It is a friendship or an acquaintance. Um, fling is probably a good word. Um, but you are guarded against feelings and falling. So uh, be cautious. I know it's hard. But be cautious. Um, I'm not sure Paul's ready for a proper relationship. Okay. Nature's Finest says, Hi Paul and Shay, I hope you're both well. I've been to a new church recently. Is this the right place for me spiritually? That's, you know, um, that's a, a brilliant question. Because um, there you are, wanting to go to a, a safe place. Praise faith, feed your, feed your faith. Um, but what happens is people are um, can be very influential, and even though they hide under the Christian mask, they can be absolute terrors. Um, I do believe this is the right fit for you. And I say God bless. Um, just be guarded against um, uh, the gossips in the church. I like the church. Um, try not to get too personally involved with the congregation, if you know what I mean. But uh, it's, it's good that you've gone. And the good Lord would love to hear from you. Next question is from Sharda on Insta uh, sorry, on Facebook. Sharda says, Hello, how are you all? You look good today, Paul. She says, I have a question. When will I get a new job? I'm not quite happy with this one, so I'm waiting for an opportunity soon. Sharda. Hello, baby. Thank you for the compliment. Um, oh. Um, you need to be with people. Um, if you were in sales, I can tell you that would be great. Any interaction with the public, because you've got um, great personality. Um, if you're not happy, Um, and I'm sorry I'm taking my time because I'm trying to remember what the question was. Should she move? Uh, should she get a new job? Yes. Uh, when will she get a new job? When? Okay, seven has come up, my baby. Seven. So, I don't want to say the next seven days. Um, more likely by July. But um, I want you to be... Um, quite sure of what you want to do and I would love you to be selling in some shape or form. She is working in sales, she says clients success but work pressure and growth is slow. Okay um, yeah you are to move on by July but um, that's a gift you have by the way um, sales and <clears throat> your interaction with people so baby use it Okay, by July, and I don't know why I'm getting office supplies or office photocopiers or that kind of thing. Just a thought. Chula Manko asks, Good day, Paul and Shay. Trust that you're well. May I please get a general reading? Thank you. Chula Manko, Australia. I don't think so. No, okay. A uh, general reading. Okay, there's movement for you, baby. I don't know if you're thinking about moving. 
whether it's job or career, but I want you to start um, being excited and grateful for the opportunities or the blessings that you have. Um, there's a tendency to be a little bit um, miserable um, right now. Um, so you've got to find things to be grateful for. But I do see movement for you very strongly. Um, so if you're thinking about it, um, now's a good time. In a similar vein, Tara says, Good morning from my family to yours. I would love to have any message from the, from the divine from your loving spirit. Wow. Thank you. How, how, see, there's people in the world, right, that just got manners, haven't they, Shay? Yes, definitely. And just, it doesn't cost anything, does it? So, I want to kiss your mum. Because she did a good job on you, Tara. Kiss her on the lips. Um, all right. Um, all right. I don't know what you want to do. Something's mulling around. Okay. And it's time to step forward toward whatever it is that you've been thinking the heck out of, okay? Um, I know probably you've been quite emotional um, and thinking a lot, but now you're being guided to be pushed and roll up your sleeves and go, go, go for it, okay? Um, um, keep, keep, um, Keep that goal and the vision and go for it. And I don't even know what it is. It may, may be a, a new job. It may be a new hobby. Um, but you're being guided forward. Okay. Uh, moving over to... Just a moment. Moving over to YouTube. Uh, Seaflair asks, um, hello Paul, hope all is well. Last time she asked, how does Leo uh, think after our first intimate encounter? Um, and she'd just like to ask if there's any follow-up from that. Leo? Yes. And what's her name? Seaflair. Okay. Um... Okay, um, look, it went well, very well. Um, I do think that Leo may be a little bit independent. So um, the thought of an actual relationship um, is something that um, needs a, a bit more work. Um, so I do feel that Leo is holding back. However, um, patience, it went well. Um, and there was a nice connection. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm just not convinced he's relationship material at this point. He needs a bit of work. So... Um, Try not to put pressure um, and let him step forward. Okay. Next question is from Zadie. They ask, Hello Paul, any improvements in finance for me please? I've been struggling. Zadie, hi. Hi, hi. Yeah, there is improvement. <laughs> um, I wish I had my magic wand here, Zadie. 
Um, it's going to take a, a wee bit of time. And this is all related to job, job, job. And I don't want to state the obvious, um, but um, that needs your attention. So I don't know if you are looking at moving or, or um, a, perhaps a second job. Um, but that seems to be the source of your energy. Um, well, it should be the source of your energy. So to answer your question, I do see an increase in, in um, um, finances, but it's going to take a wee bit of time and a wee bit of effort. Um, you are guided to persevere and not give up. Um, so consider perhaps maybe a second job. Uh, I wonder if that is in your scope. Uh, jumping over to Facebook, Mortada says, Hello Paul, my friend Julian has gambled all his money away and I'm worried about him. Is he okay? He isn't returning any of my calls or messages. Mortada, hello baby. What's his name? Um, Julian. Is he all right? Yeah. Yeah, he's all right. I think he's going to bounce back. Um, but give him space. Um, he's. You know, he's he's gambled all his money away. Um, he's in a terrible um, place and a terrible bad mood. Okay. Um, he he he'll get over it, uh, Matado. All right. Give him a bit of space. He'll get over it. Uh, next question is from Timmy, who says, "Hello, Paul." Um, <clears throat> any exciting news for me to expect this week? Thank you so much. It's middle of the month, Timmy. Just to let you know. But... I'm going to say this to me, exciting news, I don't think there's going to be exciting news, however, I do say that you are going to become more balanced, okay, and that is good news from being um, sad and down, alright, so that is uh, positive news which you can expect probably around the 16th um, you start to feel better. What's the date today? It's the 15th. <laughs> Just got in there. Um, so from tomorrow you should start feeling better. So um, um, there's a calmness about you and as a result of that I think you'll have more more energy uh, and be more positive. So that is what I've got going on. And what you do with that positivity or calmness, well, that would be up to you. Get out and about if you're feeling good. And we're all caught up with questions. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. It's very mm. quiet tonight. Okay, sorry. Charlie says, hello, Paul. Anything for me in love soon? Thank you. Destiny, 15 minutes. Um, Charlie, hi. I think there's a, 
um, a positive vibe for you, Charlie. Um, I don't know why I've got the 24th in my head. Okay, so if you were, I don't know what date that is. Um, if you were thinking of going out or look your best on the 24th, that's... So, um, there's a positivity um, in, re in relation to your question. Um, I think um, there's going to be um, a nice encounter for you. So, um, yeah. Now we go what's up with questions. <laughs> really? Very quiet tonight. Very, very quiet tonight. So, do you want to impart any wisdom onto people while we wait? Yeah. The minute people start calling you names, right? Question that relationship. Like, not paid names, right? We're talking about... Yeah, Something you know, else. they make bold statements, call you names, reverse out of that relationship. That's my words of wisdom, and I'm not waiting for any more questions. Okay. Well then, that has been the Destiny 21 minutes. <laughs> Destiny 21. Destiny 21. Yeehaw! <laughs> Well, folks, um, you don't talk to me, I don't talk to you. <laughs> well, wait, we got a question. I'm packing up. <laughs> Natasha, <laughs> you, just, you just sniped us there, <laughs> Natasha. She says, hello, thank you guys for your energy. You're very welcome. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys. You're just going home then, Natasha. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys. I'd like to know uh, if anything is coming my way. Thank you. <laughs> have to open the shop again. <laughs> oh, I hate that bell. Stop ringing it. Um, boom, 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 boom. Anything good coming your way? Um, I think um, family is going to be playing um, an important role. So whether um, family or extended family need uh, your attention or love, um, we've got that to to. Um, consider. Um, Natasha, um, stop being in two minds about things. Okay, um, it's just a, a little note. Um, and um, you're encouraged um, to um, get excited. Uh, dare I say it. Um, there may be trips or outings for you and um, you'd benefit anywhere, anything to do with water. So, um, family's got a focus, a strong, why are you smiling? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, sorry. Natasha, I'm sorry Shay smiling. <laughs> Uh, Charlie says, Paul, you must ask a question. <laughs> why? <laughs> Charlie, why? He says, oh, Shay must ask a question. Um, Shay <laughs> grabbed my cards the other day. Nice. Rude. I, I grabbed them nicely. And then she wanted card lessons, but she shuffles like a girl. <laughs> I I should, you know, like that. I think I should start... Buying. You're all limp-wristed and I don't know what to do. What can I throw at you? So okay. just give her a little, only a little slap. And it's, 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 <laughs> it seemed to help. But she got the shuffling right. 
And she got the answers she needed. I did. But I had to fumigate the cards afterwards. Yeah. And you can't put these cards in the wash. <laughs> Well, we do have some more questions, I'm believing oh, you. Fish! <laughs> Terry says, good morning, Paul. Who? Terry. Terry. Good morning, Paul. I just moved back to my parents' house. Can you tell me if my mom came back into the house? If? His mom came back into the house, or if, what kind of energy is with him? He moved back home, okay. Terry, um... Shall I repeat the question? No. What kind of energy is there? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's a good question. Um, it's a sad energy because of the memories. But there's love around you, baby. I've got to tell you that. Um, so, a lot of people, when um, they, they do what, what they go home, um, they, um, there's a tendency to think the memories are sad. So there's that theme of, uh, because you're thinking of your mom, you know, um, it's, it's sad. But you mustn't do that. You must think of your mom with love and happiness. Because she doesn't, you know, the, the reason she's got to keep coming back um, to check on you it's because you're remembering her with sadness. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Um, um, re remember the happy times and the fun times. The sadness leave, leave behind. But you are surrounded with love. And um, um, I, I have got your shoulders. My hands on your shoulders. So um, it, it, it's very loving. Um, you're lucky. It's like your bodyguard. And then next question is from Sarah who says, Hi Paul, how are you doing? I appreciate everything that you do. I was just wondering if you could let me know what the next um, few months look like. Thank you so much for everything. It's a pleasure, Sarah. Thank you for being so nice. Now Sarah's, um, she's American. From America, right? Uh, I think she was from Maine. Yes. Right. Hi. It's funny how things stick. Um, so you're finding your feet again. Okay. Um, there's a challenge around money. Um, so if there's a concern for you, um, do something about it. Don't get angry. Um, be, be more assertive, if that's um, a word that you're familiar with. Um, the, the, the worst of, of the finances are only in April. Okay, so that's a wee bit to go. Um, things start to pick up as we um, get into the spring uh, months, May um, and June. Um, I want you to be. Um, I want you to have a bit more faith and belief in whatever it is that you do, okay? Because I, I I've got a tendency to think that you. Uh, in this all on your own um, so there's a tendency also to be uh, down um, I want you to feed your faith however you do that with music um, animals, walks dancing, prayer, yoga something along those lines um, but um, there might be a temptation to move because of finances and this. So um, just be very, very cautious about o over, you're gonna overcome this little dip that you're in. Um, so don't be impulsive to, to race, to move again. I hope that, that helps.
Well, while we're waiting for questions, I actually do have a question of my own, if that's all right. I suppose it's not going to be a donation. Let me just try and get the wording right. And, um... <gasps> Kids, they're everywhere. <laughs> um, okay. I keep seeing, um, I want to say angel numbers, but I don't want to be too broad. So I keep seeing 11, 11, 19, 19, 14, 14, and uh, 16, 16 every time I check my phone. Um, every time I think of three specific things. So that would be the current situation, Jerry, and somebody else. Is there a significance to that, or is it just coincidence? Well, there's um, a large um, movement to um, and belief in angel numbers. Um, um, wisdom um, or angel wisdom dictates that if you see numbers over and over again, it's the angels um, um, making you aware of things. Um, suffice to say that um, um, in 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 the numbers, if if they are repeated, they are trying to tell you something. Okay, um, you had a lot of numbers there. And quite a few. Um, so um, I I would say that you don't, you know, it, for one particular subject that you're thinking of, would be a number related. Um, but to me, the fact that you are seeing numbers indicates that you are being looked after. I'd like to think so. Um, by So whatever troubles uh, and, and issues you may be thinking, um, it's their way of saying it's all right. And, um, you know, um, you, you do need to look up the, uh, the numbers on, on the net. On your, I didn't know that you could look Yeah, them you up. can. Okay. Um, there's, um, uh, it's quite a, it's quite a thing, it's quite a, a I want to say a science, but the belief, um, system, um, for various numbers is quite vast, um, so it is worth looking at, but be, um, sure that, um, you know, if you th were thinking of a specific thing, um, don't take all those numbers and say, okay, it's, it's 19, 19, 11, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, dot, 9, 1, 1. You know what I mean? Um, think, hang on a minute. When I think of X... Then that number... Yeah. And then you uh, research that number. Okay. Otherwise, you're gonna, your head's going to be like a calculator. Yeah, I'm going to be overwhelmed and I'm going to start and adding up the times. It, but, but this is like... This. Right. Yes. But it is quite a science, and to me, the angels are looking after you or talking to you. Okay. Huh? Thank you. I really do. That You're helps a lot. Uh, we do have some more questions in the meantime. So. Oh, do we? Well, we have a I better... question. What? We have a question from uh, Mia. She says, "Hey, Destiny Hour with Paul. We desperately want a baby, preferably a baby girl." When will it happen for us, and if well, will it happen for us, and if so, when? Um, hi, Mia. Um, Okay. Have you been trying for some time? Because um, I, I, I've got a delay. So from the time you've uh, had that idea um, to have a child, um, 
there seems to be a detox period for you, <coughs> excuse me, for you coming off any kind of contraception. And that is the holdup, uh, Mia. Um, so... She says they have been trying for some time. Really? Oh, thanks, thanks. Um, see, I've got a year, 18, 18 months as being the time period. I don't know if it's been that long. Um, but there is a detox thing um, I've got going on. Um, so I don't know if you're having a, a, any kind of irritation downstairs. Um, okay, okay, is this, is it? Okay, 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 okay. She gives us a more specific period. She says it's been three years. Has it been three years? Wow, okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm feeling your ovaries. I know this sounds strange. And I'm wondering if it's diet related or hormonal. Sorry, I'm taking my time. Okay, um, your diet needs to change, babe. Do you suffer from uh, heartburn or um, stomach issues? Because I've got an, as an acid um, level in you as being too high. Okay, and I think that that's the issue. Okay, um, so um, what you do need to do um, is start taking calcium. If indeed you do have the heartburn and burning sensation. Okay, you need calcium tablets. I think there's an imbalance in your system because my stomach is playing up for you. She says she does suffer with the heartburn. Thank you. That's it. And I was wondering why my stomach's on fire. You're, you, you, if you've ever um, been to somebody with a swimming pool who've neglected it, and they talk about a pH balance and it goes green because there's too much um, alkaline, not enough acid. Well, you, you, you're, you've got too much acid. Um, and so you want to look at... Um, uh, tomatoes um, and, and uh, lemons avoid them anything acidic okay um, and I can tell you by altering your your diet there's going to be good news in as little as little as two months two months um, I, I, and, and this this why I'm taking my time is because nobody's told you and I know I'm right. You deserve a child and um, this family deserves a child. Um, it's your pH balance is off. You're just too acid. That's what I need to tell you. Calcium tablets. Not the effervescent ones. Those fizzy ones. Okay. You want pills. Okay, um, and uh, you're going to see um, um, within three days the heartburn stops um, and those stupid cravings um, will stop as well that you have, you know. So and I would like to hear if you did that, um, Mia, um, if you did, and I want to see the results, but you deserve child. Okay, we've got 28 minutes left, but we do have some new people watching. So oh, yes. Can... It's very quiet, new people watching. Where are they watching? Everywhere. Everywhere. 
Well, people, I do this full time, and it's a gift. Um, uh, live from Johannesburg, do this full time, psychic guidance counselor. coach people, motivate people, but I like to give people the truth. Um, so a lot of um, church goers disagree with this, um, but it's a God-given talent. Um, and my job is to help people. So don't be shy if you've got questions, um, ask. We've got Dean Clay says, hello Paul and Shay, I hope you're doing great. I would like to know if they will uh, accept my application at HB. HB. And also Mia says, uh, my doctor told me a few weeks ago that my pH is unbalanced as well. So, sorry, sorry Dean Clay, we just had to... God-given talent. The cards don't tell you these things, uh, Mia. This comes from abo above, you know, so I've got to say praise the Almighty. Um, there's, there's so much magic in faith and belief. Um, I'm just a vehicle for it to come to me, um, so it's all, all praise to the Almighty. Right? And... Um, I just needed you to know that. Um, will they accept your application? Yeah. They will. It's a curious question. Because that you're saying, um, will they accept my application? Rather than, will I get the job? See, so I'm looking at you being very nice and polite. I think you've got every chance of um, being interviewed at HB. Um, you go with with all my encouragement, and, I'm, and I, um, you might need a little bit of patience. Doesn't matter. You're a good, good man, and I want good things to happen to you. Shay, when I've stopped. Um, I'm reading questions. Are um, you reading? Jerry. Jerry. Funny name. A strange little name. This no, Jerry. Is. This Jerry creature says, hello, beautiful people. Hello. <laughs> well, hello to you. Jerry's my daughter, <laughs> folks, and she's in, we're in Johannesburg, and she is in Dubai. And the Americans are going, Where's Dubai? It's in the Middle East. It's and far away. Um, how, hi, baby. How are you? She asks, Arif has spoken to the management and wants my CV for the gym department and another outlet for a supervisor position. Do you think it would be wise to send my CV or should I be more patient? Where is she? Is she oh, in... One. No, you're not going back there. Are you? Are you? Uh, Jerry, 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 Jerry. There's no harm in sending your CV, okay, or your resume. There's no harm in doing that. It's like fishing, you know, see what bites. Um, so that is encouraging. Um, so, yeah, you should send it to answer your question. There's no harm in doing it. Um, I do think that you, you probably need, in the big scheme of things, uh, to be patient um, up until your your holiday, you know. Um, I don't want too much movement because 
I think if you got that job, that would affect your um, holiday uh, coming home to see us. Um, um, so, so that that's a that's a consideration. Um, send the um, information, um, and then we'll talk about um, what the implications are. I know she's your best friend, um, and moving uh, back with her would be a wonderful thing. Um, but, um, you know, what's the job entail? Um, and, and is it a move up? And is it better um, um, salaries, uh, salary for you? So um, send it by all means. Um, but, you know, I've got a bitter taste in my mouth, literally, about Oman. Um, because of the experience and the treatment that you've had there. I'm, um, I've got that bitter taste. So, um, send CV, but I, right now, um, I'd have to have more information, babe. See? She says, that's the thing I want to do. I want to come home first before I do anything crazy. Yeah, um, because that will set you. If, if you, if you, as, as, if you got that job, you, you can kiss your vacation goodbye. It's just the way it is. Um, we could, well, we would accommodate, you know, that. Um, but I don't know if you could. Um, so, um, it, it's all exciting, um, but um, I, I, I would stay put for now. And then Tara says, or Tara, she asks, Hello Paul, can you um, please give me a reading on my life and what's to come? Did we speak to Tara before? No, this is Tara with an H at the end of her name. Um, what's to come? Got the wrong cards here now. Okay, um, I'm not sure if you're considering studying or getting a, some kind of certificate or, but um, you're encouraged to, do, to explore those opportunities um, because I do think you have a lot of um, talent. And I think that's gone um, perhaps unnoticed or unrewarded. Um, so if you are considering bettering yourself or furthering yourself, um, do so. Um, I think you, you need a new start in regard to things coming. So um, I don't know if you're planning to move jobs or um, uh, premises, uh, premises, um, home, um, but um, I can see something like that. There's move, definite movement for you, um, but I would just like you to be more um, confident and prepared. In so any kind of class or um, school you can attend, um, just to give you that boost. Caught up with questions with 10 minutes left. So it's the destiny 50 minutes. It's the destiny 50 minutes. So more closer to an hour this time. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate all of you and you got many beautiful thank yous. Did we? Yes. Thank you very much. Um, remember this, folks. Thank you. Um, all prayers are heard. Did you know that? They're all heard. So you have 
every chance of being heard, whatever your hope and dream is, okay? Um, even just to say thanks, thanks for getting through the day, um, thanks for the food, thanks for the clothes, um, goes a long, long way. Shay, thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for putting up with me. No, yeah, it's a pleasure. And folks, we'll see you next week. God bless.